Scorpio, welcome to your daily reading for November 19th to the 20th, 2020. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's amazing to have you here. If you're new here, I do daily and weekly updates for your horoscope sign in love and in life uh, through Channel Tarot. So if you want those updates continued, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the soul family. We'd love to have you. And if you do find this video impactful, be sure to hit that like button. Helps my channel and this video grow so we can guide more people. All right, so um, Scorpio, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be getting into a channeled oracle reading where I channel messages from your guides and my guides for you, what you need to know urgently in the next two days. And then we're going to do a channeled tarot reading um, so that you can get any clarity you need in your love life, specifically relationship, situationship, or a person in particular. But we can go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to open the ceremony and we'll get started. Taking this opportunity now to officially open the ceremony for the sign of Scorpio, November 19th through the 20th, 2020, calling in my guides, spirit, spirits, ancestors, loved ones, wise ones, masters, um, to help me guide for the sign of Scorpio, 19th and 20th. Thank you so much, spirit. The ceremony is now open. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is our tarot deck. We'll move that over here. And Scorpio, we're going to be starting with the Mystical Shaman Oracle Deck. And Scorpio, um, don't know if I mentioned this, but if you do want to go deeper into this reading, um, I'm not going to have an extended for this reading, but I will have a link to your weekly reading, which I posted earlier this week. If you want to go even deeper and get more clarity in your week, and also that one will have an extended. If you want to know more about where your person's at, and how they're feeling about you, and any details you need to know in that regard. All right, so Spirit, please show us any messages we need to know for the sign of Scorpio, 19th and 20th, for their highest good. Thank you, Spirit. The rattle, the arrow, and the giveaway, wow and fire underneath the deck. Okay. Okay, so I do feel um, definitely Scorpio, like you are really coming into your power here in this next two days, or you're feeling a sense of power, you're feeling a sense of exuberance and direction and purpose and moving forward in the right way. The arrow tells me that you are focused on someone or something and you are really uh, ready to start to make a move or to make a proclamation, announcement, saying something like that. These cards uh, just came out in the last reading, interestingly, despite thorough shuffling. Um, so it could be connected with Sagittarius' reading as well. Or maybe, yeah, Sagittarius was on the receiving end of this. But I feel like you are headed and very certain about where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to say and you're going to go and make those moves. And whatever you say and do, it's going to make a huge impact on some situation. Okay. Um, so this is good. This is very powerful, I can sense. We have the giveaway here. So I do feel this is you wanting to give someone an offer. And I feel like this is a very big offer. I feel like this is like all of you. Whatever you have to give from your heart that you want to share and show to this situation or this person, you are ready to do it because you have... Well, you, you know where you're going, and you are not going anywhere else uh, but, but that uh, direction. Now, the fire card is here, too. So, again, uh, what I'm really feeling is you've just f somehow come into an awakening around your passion and your desire to move forward towards this situation or this person in a very strong way. You've come into your power. You've come into your passion. You've come into your desire, and you've come into wanting to really shake things up a little bit um, in the situation. You are moving forward, and that's where you're headed. Now, this doesn't mean it has to have to mean that it's going to happen necessarily in the next two days. It could. This could be an energetic change or shift inside of you, Scorpio, where you are sure that you want to give s yourself to someone or something fully in a way that I haven't sensed in you before. Um, very powerfully, it's like a new, just a new realization that you've, that you've come into or something like that um, where you're like, oh my gosh, like I have to do this. I have to 
I have to I have to be all in something. So um, really great to see that you are stepping into your power, purpose, and direction, and choosing to give all of yourself to something or someone. Um, I, I'm sure that that's going to make quite a huge impact uh, in your life and whoever, whoever else's life uh, it's involved in. So let's go ahead and get into the channel tarot reading and see what else Spirit has to say for your sign. All right, Spirit, please give me guidance for the sign of Scorpio for the 19th to the 20th, 2020. Please allow me to channel and guide clearly for their highest good, whatever they need to know. By the way, the, the message here for guidance for that first part was that it's it's a very good thing. So if, the, if this, if you do resonate with that, then um, just know that it's a very good thing, and it's uh, I think it's been waiting. I think it's been wanting to happen for a while, <laughs> um, but it's finally going to happen. All right. So, spirit, please any guidance for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus rising, highest good, nineteenth to the twentieth. Thank you so much, spirit. Devil. Wow. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Yeah. So here's the situation I feel that you have you have uh, maybe realized or proclaimed or decided to move towards, I feel strongly. Uh, I do feel, though, like you're going to be hitting a little bit of a wall or some resistance when it comes to this person, this situation, um, this dynamic, whatever it is. Um, I feel like maybe there's someone that you uh, is in your life who you've realized you wanted this start with, this partnership with, that is not maybe currently talking to you or has separated themselves from you or is just not... Um, interacting with you and the devil card shows up I do feel like this is maybe their energy so if you're dealing with this person I know I don't know what's happened in your past but for some reason they're 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 either seeing you or they're they're having to deal with this part of themselves that's keeping them wanting to be separated it could be fear it could be fear of the past it could be like their perception of you or maybe this has happened before in the past and it just hasn't gone well like maybe this maybe this start like this new fresh start or beginning is has tried to happen in the past and it just hasn't panned out and so this person has fear around doing it again I'm not sure but either way I feel that there is definitely a strong strong connection and partnership here that wants to happen um, and I feel like you are initiating this or you are you are coming forth with this proclamation. Now, the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords comes up. So what I feel, I feel like this is, uh, it's for both of you, but I feel it's for them. Like you're gonna, this proclamation you're gonna make to them or for them is gonna put them in a little bit of a bind. So maybe that, maybe they were doing just fine, thinking everything was good, kind of just sitting on the perch and doing their thing in isolation. And when you come in, it's going to be like, oh, crap, now I have a big decision to make. You know, uh, what about the past? What about this? What about my life? You know, um, and it's going to put them on a little bit of a crossroads. Now, um, the thing with the Four of Swords is they might, they might still need some time here to reflect on the situation, on you, on, you know, just everything that's happened after you come in with this. So I feel like they weren't expecting this. I feel like this was like new. Like they're like, oh wow, like this took them by surprise. And I wasn't expecting that. Now I've got some stuff to choose or to deal with. Um, and um, and yeah, they're gonna need some additional reflection. But I feel like they, in the end, will know the truth. They're just being maybe a little bit stubborn here. So it's Capricorn energy as well. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn or Capricorn moon, this could definitely be um, their their stubbornness or their persistence in kind of resistant, resisting you or the situation. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I do feel like they know the truth with this lamb card here. This is always my know the truth, 
Um, yet, yeah, knowing the truth even through the face of uncertainty or fear. And then the two of swords. Yeah, they're gonna. So let me let me uh, draw a few more cards. So let me get to the final outcome of the situation. Okay, for my Scorpios from the nineteenth to the twentieth. Final outcomes, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Six of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, and nine of Wands. All right. Yeah, I mean, the final outcome here is um, Six of Pentacles, meaning equal give and take. Three of Pentacles comes out, meaning that I feel that you now want to, and it's very possible to have an equal partnership where you're both contributing, building, reaching the same destination, but really everything you could have ever wanted. I mean, you realize you share a mission um, and a path and a journey in this life with this person. And I feel like they know this too. They're just dealing with a little bit of stubbornness or resistance for whatever reason. Um, but now I feel you want to give and uh, give them what they're worth or what they need. And they're going to be able to do the same for you. But this is what's headed over. And this card came out. It's normally my it's almost over journey card. But I feel like the journey is really, well, the new journey is just beginning. Because I feel like with you and this person, um, I feel like it's a continuation. So I feel like you guys will be continuing the journey together in an equally equally loving way, full of abundance, reciprocity, equal give and take, and in partnership or union to and that works really practically and well in, in life to reach the top of the mountain here, wherever you guys want to go. So continuing the journey together um, by each other's side, equal give and take, divine union, just let this person deal with their stubbornness or whatever they're dealing with and know that the the hard part of the journey is almost over. Okay? So, wow. Great, great reading, Scorpios. I'm excited for you. That's a big move you're planning on making. Um, so, congratulations on that. And I'm wishing you the best of luck. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you haven't done so already, um, please be sure to subscribe. And um, you can get those notifications as well. And join the Soul Family. We'd love to have you. And if you like this video or find it impactful, be sure to hit that like button. It helps this channel grow so we can guide more people. Finally, if uh, you haven't already, check out the weekly video in the description box below if you want to find even more detail about your person, what they're going through, and what they feel about you. But thanks again, Scorpio. Best of luck. I'm excited for you, and keep me posted. Bye for now.